how to measure the frequency of the waves. So now I'm going to need to adjust the time base or the times per division until I have one complete cycle visible. So, oops, wrong way. I'm going to keep doing that until I have, well, that's less than one cycle, so I'll need to go back. So I've got one complete cycle visible. Then I'm going to use the uh, X shift to line up the uh, one peak perfectly to the vertical line. So this peak perfectly lined up to that vertical line. And now I need to read off the position of the next peak so I can work out how many squares or centimetres it is. I might choose to use the vertical Y shift so that I can move that peak down so that it is perfectly on this scale across the middle. And then once I have counted up the number of squares or centimetres, I can use the scale to work out the time. And then once I've got the time, I'll need to do one over the time to get the frequency.